evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the night off. New developments tonight in a deadly home break-in case we brought you here last week. The suspected intruder shot and sent to the hospital where he later died. The man who owned the home shot and killed on sight. His wife, the only survivor, now headed for scrutiny by a grand jury. KXAN Shannon Wolfson has tonight's top story. Robert, here's what we know for sure about this case. Around 7.30 in the morning on December 27th, someone called 911 from Bill and Rhonda Maddox's home in the Scenic Brook neighborhood. That's near the Y in Oak Hill. Deputies arrived there within minutes. Maddox, a well-known Austin musician, had died of a gunshot wound. John DeBrett, his neighbor, had also been shot and died three days later. It's what happened in the moments before that could lead to charges in this case. He's a good person. Mac Allen was a close friend of John DeBrett and his running coach for five years before his death last week. John's a nice guy. He, he try, trains hard, he tries hard, and, um, you know, he's, he's even killed. I've never seen him uh, raise his voice, get angry, or... Uh, uh, cause any trouble. Alan doesn't believe the kind man he knew would break into a home or try to hurt anyone. Totally against his, his nature as I know him. Detectives continue to call DeBrecht the intruder and they do believe he broke into the Maddox home. What they do not know is why. That's one of the things we've got to answer is what the intent was. Travis County Sheriff spokesperson Roger Wade said detectives are battling something unusual in this case because both victims were so well known in their communities. The biggest challenge is, is dealing with um, the rumors going around about what's going on. There have been a lot of uh, stories about the suspect and the victim and who was doing what and why they did it, but we've not been able to confirm any of that yet. Wade says the only surviving witness, Rhonda Maddox, has cooperated with investigators. Her actions will eventually be evaluated by a Travis County grand jury. We've been very thorough in this case, simply because two families have lost loved ones, and um, this is a very, very tragic situation. We understand that. And we want to make sure that we can answer the questions for both families. When he died, he was training for the Boston Marathon. Mac Allen and many others are waiting for those answers. Now, one piece of evidence investigators are still waiting on is the toxicology report for John DeBrecht from the medical examiner's office. Some friends have said publicly he may have been having trouble with his medication, although there's been no confirmation of that. Those test results could take up to eight weeks to come back, and the case, we're told, will not be presented to the grand jury before then. Live in the studio, Shannon Wolfson, KXAN, Austin News. Some thieves.